In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for CuSO4. This is copper to sulfate. So we have an ionic compound here. We have a metal bonded to a group of nonmetals. This is a polyatomic ion, the sulfate ion. So this is an ionic compound. Let's first draw the copper. We'll put Cu here for our copper. And we know that the sulfate, the whole thing, this polyatomic ion is two minus. So you either memorize that or you're allowed to look that up. That means the copper here, which is a transition metal, it has to be two plus. So we can think about the copper here lost two electrons, became two plus. The sulfate, it's gained those, it's two minus. That's one way to think about it. So for the sulfate, rather than draw the entire Lewis structure, I have a video on that you can watch that explains it in great detail. So here is our sulfate ion, SO4. And again, this whole thing is two minus. So let's put brackets around it. And then we'll put our two minus charge here on the outside of the brackets. So the sulfate ion, again, probably one you should remember, the whole thing has a two minus ionic charge. So we have the copper and we have the sulfate here. So this is the Lewis structure for copper to sulfate. You could also write the charge on the copper and even sometimes you'll see brackets around the copper here. So we have our positive ion here, our copper two ion, and then we have our negative sulfate ion. Since we have a positive ion and a negative ion, they're attracted to each other. That's what forms that ionic bond between the copper and the sulfate. Note, this is a formula unit for copper two sulfate. And often this will be surrounded by water molecules, copper two sulfate pentahydrate. And then when we have a crystal, it's a regularly repeating pattern of the formula unit. But the Lewis structure here, it's very useful to see how the copper has transferred electrons to the sulfate. And now we have the positive and the negative. They attract, they form that chemical bond, that ionic bond. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for CuSO4, copper 2 sulfate. Thanks for watching.